Hey what's up guys welcome back to another monster video so in today's video what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing the monster epigurisis from the legends pass you can obtain it right now by purchasing a golden legends pass and um you can get it on rank today I'm going to be reviewing this monster from level 1 to 100 showing you guys the best skills the best runes and everything you need to know about this mythic monster so hope you guys are excited if you are make sure to drop a like subscribe anyways let's go ahead and get started all right guys so here is what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and hatch it uh 35 gems by the way huge shout out to Bunky for letting me borrow her account for this uh, review um so wow we got three slots open just like the previous monster that's pretty cool all right that's that's nice so we don't get to spend some more gems all right all right uh what is the ultimate like oh all those meteors actually look pretty realistic so what's your point did a good job with that all right cool so we got the monster here um <laughs> with the pvp monster when i reviewed her earlier i forgot to you know show off the relics what the relic slots are and even equip relics actually so i apologize about that let's just hope we don't make the same mistake with this monster okay so yeah this is supposed to be a tank it's supposed to be a taunt um and also later on you get the mega taunt but here we're only gonna have access to taunt but i'm still going to make it work out let's take a look at the traits real quick we have mountain giving you to stun and freeze okay so this monster can't be denied with like stun and freeze that's pretty good i guess uh we got taunt uh rank one you will have access to taunt so it'd be best to get this monster to at least rank one so that you have access to that taunt uh but other than that um i don't know status gets your megatons uh, receives all the damage so yeah having access to megatons is actually pretty good but from what i've heard this monster only has access to megaton for one turn which isn't that good imagine having access to megaton for only one turn so i hope that's not true uh but if it is then makes her makes this monster less usable um because there's gonna be better megatons out there that you can actually use but let's just hope that's not true and even if it is i hope they actually change it to at least three turns just like the other monsters but yeah we have access to taunt here um well we will later on but uh right now we don't actually have access to that so let me see what we can do in terms of skills hopefully this monster has a taunt or megaton skill here that we can actually use so we have this fall skill which is a aoe hellfire and sandstorm tool enemies okay so hellfire sandstorm um sandstorm deals five percent earth damage reduces precision by 15 percent and blocks pierce having access to that's actually pretty good all right what else we got here megaton and shield there we go all right so i recommend running that of course heavy very heavy fire damage to an enemy okay what else we got quicksand to an enemy that's just a moderate dark damage to an enemy okay uh, so you do have these two torches that doesn't deal any damage, but it comes with two torches that will deal damage later on. Um, and then you also have a 40% life shield to yourself while dealing damage. You also have a spammable 30% shield. If you want to run this, you can. Uh, so there are two ways of actually running this monster, either attacker or supporter. I would say run this monster as a supporter, you know, as a tank. But if you want to take the other route, run it as an attacker, go ahead and do so. Uh, but here we're going to do fully supporter, maybe some skills that deal damage here and there you know what i mean uh but yeah i think i'm gonna keep this one this one is really important you know just in case if you need it but this one's also important and then la lastly this is really nice having access to that spammable skill so this monster does have a spammable skill i really like that uh but anyways in, in terms of skills i think these are the best four that you can actually go with um but in terms of runes so if you could get this much to rank three, I would recommend giving in one life and two team speeds, or you can do triple team speed that are actually mutated with life. Okay, so if you could do that, go ahead and do that. Um, another rune setup that you can go with would be two life and one speed. Sorry, not one speed, one team speed. So two life, one team speed, all right? So anyways, uh, with all that being said, what we're gonna do is check out the relics. I don't wanna forget this one. This would be a really good relic to give, especially if you have this monster to at least rank three. So bottom Mouser, Rucha armor, Tertillion's armor, and last but not least, Killer Arts armor. So I'm gonna go with this one for now. In terms of trap, Fundy's trap would be best. Wormhole trap, also pretty good. Um, and maybe Rodden's trap as well with Nebulon's trap if you have those, either one of them. Uh, but I'm gonna go with this Fundy's trap, of course. The ultimate is called Blocks and Bombs, which is a modded fire damage to all enemies apply stun, hellfire, and curse. So it comes with three torches, or two torches, one um, denial skull, uh, denial thing, which is stun. All right, so we got everything set up here and it has two elements. That's actually pretty good because if the enemy attacks you, um, you know, having access to those two is actually not that bad. You know what I mean? Uh, if, it's, if it's a dark attacker, they'll deal less damage, especially that this monster is a tank. Same with fire, vice versa. So I thought it'd be fun to take this monster against 
himself legendary version so here's what i mean in just a second all right so we got ourselves our tank what we need here is maybe a supporter on the side and then maybe an attacker as well so for example any attacker i don't want to make it super powerful so well not that's not really an attacker but you can use it as a attacker if you want or flash herion actually uh but if we're gonna do that flash herion is an artifact so i can't really do too much maybe heal but can't really give double damage so we're not going to use i guess the damage boost and stuff like that just to heal uh and then we have our tank of course but the tank in the other hand we're gonna have to actually apply um what's called the megaton there uh the good thing is that these guys are slow so i'll be able to do that uh but again rank three is where this monster will be really good or rank one because you'll get that uh, taunt if you can only get it to rank one i would suggest running it with two dodge areas all right so anyways we have our attacker here we can go ahead and deal the image bam look at that sweet all right so now i need this monster to play his role which is applying that megaton with shield so this megaton comes with shield which is pretty sweet 50 percent shield you can go ahead and use that let's go and charge up hopefully that monster doesn't die from all those tortures <laughs> let's just hope so all right Let's just hope so. Oof, that's a lot of tortures. Ah, he went with the mega taunt. Or taunt would kill me, I say. But guess what? I have access to mega taunt. Way better. Alright. So here we can deal damage. It's an AoE fire. Comes with medium shield. You can also do hellfire and sandstorm. So two tortures stacking up on with all of those stuff. As you guys could see. And he's gonna do it back to me. But I have mega taunt. So I'm protecting everybody in my team. You know, those other two monsters. I'm protecting them and look at that oh that's sweet all right that monster is definitely dead from all those tortures a hundred percent so igersis we're gonna use another one of your skill which comes with 50 percent shield we do need it right now so let's go ahead and use that just like that he's gonna do it back to me but it's okay because i have the shield protecting me so i, I don't it, it doesn't really remove any sh um, damage like actual life from me you know what i mean and with that damage dealt, it's only removing shield. All right, and a bigger sis, we're gonna do 30% life shield, which is spammable again. You don't need any stamina for it. If you get hit with CDA, it's completely fine. And that monster is definitely dead with all those orders. There's no way you survive that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so that monster just got destroyed right there. Uh, so which one's better, of course? Of course, the mythic version is better. You know, the legendary monster, mm -mm, not so good. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give her that Shadow Weston because it just dealt too much and it applied lots of tortures. I guess we could do Mass Red instead. I haven't used Mass Red in so long. All right. We're gonna charge up with Flash here on. Vulnerability, Light Weakness, Water Weakness. Where's my damage boost? I don't have any damage boost. Oh, interesting, okay. We're just gonna deal damage to you then. Get rid of you. All right, Epigrasis. Best thing to do, start off with Megatons and Shield. If you have it, unranked so now that we have the shield and megatons i'm gonna let that monster take in a turn and do whatever he wants so go ahead and attack me please oh you want the taunt and skill mirror again come on attack me because i have megatons and shield you really don't want to do that i'll go ahead and give my shield to myself there now we lost megatons so he's just gonna attack whoever he wants now oh man i really wanted you to attack earlier but he didn't you guys think he's gonna attack again? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the shield this time. The spamble shield. And now that we got the turn, we're gonna do the mega taunt with shield. Alright, ready? Let's see if he actually attacks. Oh, he attacks. And look at that. Everything goes towards my Megaton. Thanks to that Megaton protecting team. And now what we're gonna do is just use that skill there. Comes with curse. We can apply more tortures. Um, and this monster is not very up to date, so those sandstorm, electrified, uh, hellfire, things like that will definitely land. Um, so you can definitely use this monster to carry your team in adventure map. Uh, the monster will be used in PvP as well. I can see that, um, but I don't know. I hope they actually change that megaton status caster to three turns. Actually, we can check to see if that's actually three turns or not. Let's find out. Is it three turns or not? Let's check it out. All right. I'm sure many of you guys are wondering that too. Here we go. Megaton's actually for three turns. Well, this is the skill one. I wonder what the status caster is. Yeah. So the skill one is actually three turns, but the Megaton one, we do not know yet. Um, so we're going to have to check that out soon. We're going to have to find out. All right. 
We're gonna stack off more tortures, same storm and all that. Oh, you're dead from all those tortures. Bye bye. No way you're surviving that. All right, sweet. So that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps it up for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this new tank. Um, let me know if you guys purchased the Legends Pass or not. And I would say yes, the Legends Pass is worth it for this monster. You can get yourself this tank. And um, hopefully that size caster is not one turn. And hopefully it's three turns, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. If you guys didn't enjoy it, drop a dislike, whatever you want to do. But let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of the video was. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.